Ah. We are all looking for one thing or the other. But in this generation, it's a counter. A counter that will change our lives. A counter that will draw people to Jesus Christ. A counter that will make us be one that in this generation encounter it is more than just uh, fasting and praying for three days and say god give me this give me that give me give me no it is an it is a place of love seeking his seeking him knowing who he is wanting to get closer to him cry for days and say god who i want to know more about you i want to seek your face i want to i want to have an encounter i need you God from the heart of love. As many of us, we just eh, fast, fast. Eh, 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 eh. It's not about eh, 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 fast, Father, give me power, power, power. He, he, he can't give somebody power that does not know him. And our motives must be right. I'm not talking about knowing him of as in knowing that Jesus is God by your Bible. I'm talking about a personal deep revelation and encounter. Know him in a different level. That is what brings the power. Amen. Amen. I remember I went, I when somebody, somebody died some day, time ago, and I uh, even at that preaching, I said I was going to go and heal a raising from the dead. And that day, God told me, yes, but your, your motives were not right. So he's not reason. Until your motive, our motives are right. There are some level of power that cannot manifest through us. Heal the dead, heal the, uh, heal the sick, raise the dead, even to cast out demons. To some of us, it's, 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 it's something difficult. We are leaders. We need to, we need to be leaders that walk in power, that is our life, our wonders to this generation. And it doesn't have to do about what we have in this. You have cow, you have children, you have husband, you have money in the bank. Nonsense. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about spiritual. Moses, eh? Moses was walking. He has children. He has husband. I mean, he has wife. He has money. He left it. He left all of them. He left everything to go seek for God, to go seek him. It's not about the grammar or we want to be famous or we want to be more. No, it's about passion, loving God to the extent that no matter what comes our way, we prioritize God. We don't prioritize our children before God. We don't prioritize uh, our marriage before God. We don't prioritize business or even the ministry before God. God first, fully in love, in love with Jesus Christ. Encounter, go after him, seek him. Amen. 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 En deze generatie, we, we zoeken naar van alles, behalve een ontmoeting met God. En dat is wat we moeten zoeken. We moeten zoeken naar een ontmoeting met God. Onze alles geven aan hem. Uh, in een plaats van liefde komen. Niet omdat we iets willen. We willen een man, we willen uh, een, een huwelijk, we willen zaken. Nee, in een plaats van liefde. God lief hebben met alles wat we hebben. Hem op de eerste plaats zetten. Prioriteit aan hem stellen. Boven alles. En dan kunnen we in kracht wandelen. Want God gaat niet iemand kracht geven die hij niet, die hij niet kan vertrouwen of die hem niet kent. Niet ken, kennen op een bijbelse wijze, maar echt een persoonlijke relatie met, met, ons hebben, met hem hebben. Dan kan hij ons in die plaats van liefde zijn, dicht bij hem zijn. Dan kan hij ons die kracht geven en dan kunnen we wonderen en tekenen manifesteren. Amen. What I mean, not just by the Bible, manna is, I mean, like reading it and know, you know, you read it. My my beautiful will read it. They have the same. You the, what you read is what they read. So what's the difference? I'm talking about an encounter that what we read become become life, become reality. The love of Jesus is so strong, Amen, in our life that we don't even want to see him. We would, nobody will touch you very hot meaning tight, tight bodies lying and fighting because you think nobody's watching you. That, 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 that type of Christian are 
they can preach it tomorrow, but <laughs> encounter are for those that love him. And true love is fear. I'm not talking about mouth love. There are many people that say, I love Jesus, I love Jesus. If they don't have what they need, they run back to the world. If a man come now, they will start kissing and doing whatever it is. If they, uh, there's no money, they are ready to lie to the government to collect money. If uh, people that are not good, that love Jesus, that fear him, we are ready to go to the to to the extent of the world to the for Jesus because we love him. Amen. So we can have that encounter that will change this generation for good. Amen. God is still waiting for somebody to bring revival, revival that the whole city will change. The whole city will change, but he needs somebody that loves him so much and is ready to have a divine encounter so he can bestow upon that person the reality of a transformation of a city, of a kindred, of a nation, of generations. Amen. Amen. En het is goed om de Bijbel te lezen. Natuurlijk, we moeten de Bijbel lezen. Daar krijg je ook openbaring en een ontmoeting met God. Maar ze heeft het over, je moet de Bijbel niet lezen als, 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 een, als een sprookjesboek. Het is, het is echt de Bijbel lezen. Dat het tot leven komt. Het komt tot leven. De liefde van Jezus, die wordt, geactief, die wordt, meer, die wordt sterk geactiveerd. En je wilt de zonde laten. Je wilt alleen maar God lief hebben. Uh, uh, dan kan je ontmoeting met God krijgen. Vrezen des heren. Het is niet van, uh, uh, je leest de Bijbel en je hebt geen vrees voor God. Nee, we moeten de vrezen des heren hebben. Dan gaan we die, dan gaan we die ontmoeting kunnen krijgen. Uh, en generaties goed kunnen veranderen. Om wonder en het teken te zijn in deze, in deze generatie. God zoekt nog steeds naar iemand die een opwekking kan geven voor een hele stad, voor een hele natie. Maar hij, hij heeft iemand nodig die, 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 die hem lief heeft, die hem lief heeft, die de vrezen des Heren heeft, die helemaal voor God gaat hem op de eerste plaats zetten, zodat hij wonderen en tekenen door die persoon kan, kan, kan doen. En de hele natie, de wereld kan veranderen. Amen. Halleluja. I want us to go, before we go to that John, I want us to go to Psalm 63. Amen. Psalm 63, hallelujah. Yes, oh, wow, it just opened itself. God is faithful, amen. <laughs> Psalm 63, the Bible says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh long for you. In a dry and Thirsty land where there is no water. I I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied with many with marrow and fat, fat fatness. And my mouth shall I praise you with joy. Amen. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches because you have been my help. Amen. The first one is, oh, my God, Psalm 63. You are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul tests for you. Amen. The place. That our soul, our spirit, everything is aching and and when, like let me use it obsessed, obsessed with God. That that word. That's the, I think I should use that so we can understand what I'm saying. All your body is aching for you. Him is all about Jesus. Crazy for Jesus. In love, deeply in love. Amen. The type of love that we that will make him encounter us. Eh, that will make us encounter him. Amen. For him to open our eyes, uh, to show us things, uh, to talk with us, uh, to, 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 to eh, an authentic relationship, not copycat, something that you know and you receive from him direct. Amen. Amen. En dit is waar je ziel en je geest, je ziel en je geest die smacht naar God. Uh, het moet als een obsessie zijn. En God moet een obsessie voor je zijn. Verliefd zijn, een diepe, diepe verlangen en lief hebben, hem lief hebben. Waardoor we een ontmoeting kunnen krijgen. Waardoor, zij, waardoor, waardoor hij onze ogen opent. En hij met ons praat en we een authentieke, diepe relatie met hem hebben. Amen. Amen. 
Yes. You see, this Jesus, all is like a human. Amen? Me and you. That's how he is. Amen? Of course, not our behaviors, but the way we love. Uh, the, I mean, the way we long. We long for people that we love to reach out for us. Amen? He loves us so much. He loves us and he wants us to long for him. I know that some of most of us say we love Jesus. Yes, but I'm talking about <laughs> love that will make you yearn. That love is you enter fasting for this without binding household witchcraft, without asking for money, without asking for babies, without asking for husband, without asking for driving license, without asking for shoes, without asking for Brazilian hair, whatever it is that we are asking. Hallelujah. We forget all those things and seek him for who he is because we love him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. En Jezus als een mens, als een mens, in de zin van de verlangens die wij hebben naar iemand die we lief hebben, zo verlangt hij ook naar ons. En zo wil hij dat wij, dat wij hem ook uh, 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 naar hem verlangen, hem lief hebben, uh, 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 hem willen als een obsessie voor hem. Uh, 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 hij moet een obsessie voor ons zijn. Velen van ons zeggen, ja, we houden van Jezus, we houden van Jezus. Maar uh, 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 het is vasten, vasten zonder dat je iets, iets van hem vraagt. Van ik wil schoenen, ik wil dit, ik wil een man, ik wil, ik wil, ik wil een huwelijk. Nee, het is gewoon vasten omdat je gewoon, je wilt, dieper, je wilt hem dieper leren kennen. Je wilt, hem, je wilt weten wie hij is. Je verlangen, dieper verlangen naar hem hebben. Amen. Let us see what the Bible says, John 14, amen. Yes, we are going to pray for only 13 minutes, amen. Today, eh, after this Bible, after this preaching, He expects me and you to go. I already start my own. I'm already seeking him. And by the grace of God, I already had a vision of a cross. While I was meditating by him, I saw a cross on my wall. Hallelujah. The cross of Jesus Christ. I'm going to dip. So on Wednesday, there will be no meeting for this. Uh, you know what we do every Wednesday. It It is not this Wednesday. So send messages to all of them. Because me, I need to seek my father. I need to seek Jesus. Amen. So tomorrow we'll be there. I'm still going to be fasting. But on Wednesday, I want to be in. The, I want. I don't want to even do anything. I just want to be sick. I want to see him in a different manner. Amen. So I already start today. And I already, already have signs of him and manifesting and it's like it's already very beautiful and i know when i get that encounter my life can never be the same so god want me to also bring it to you people so you go take you will take time and go and seek him seek him seek him amen yes Amen. En de, God, en de apostel is er nu ook al mee bezig om God te zoeken. En, en God vraagt van ons ook dat we hem op een andere manier gaan zoeken. Uh, um, 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 oh, hem, zodat hij een ontmoeting met hem hebben en op een andere manier kan manifesteren. De apostel heeft al gezegd, ze heeft hem al, ze, hij, er is al manifestatie. Er is al, zijn al mooie dingen gebeurd. Maar ze gaat er verder mee. En, ze, en dit brengt ze ook naar ons toe, omdat wij ook een ontmoeting met hem krijgen. Laten we hem zoeken op een andere manier. Amen. Dieper gaan. Amen. The Bible says in John 14, say, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, and he may abide in you forever. Amen. Hallelujah. There's another part that he taught, said that him and his Father will come and dwell in you when you love him. Amen. He and his Father who come and dwell in you. They will, and he will tell his father about us. Amen? Yes. So, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, amen, is calling me and you. Yes? So deliberately, so deliberately, eh? seek an encounter, spiritual encounter, deeper encounter, amen, deeper, deeper, um, Uh, 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 to come deeper in him. Amen? He wants us, hallelujah, to drop all our busy, 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 busy. Last time I talked about uh, if any of us have even taken one day 
Amen. And I tell you, it does. It's not about whether you are have seven. It, it's it, people can surround you, but you have the one that have to make the decision to take time to go seek him. So you will have a counter and not remain in the same level. There are so many people preaching the gospel without an encounter. The only encounter they have was the encounter of salvation. And the rest is just revelation, revelation that every other people already have. This encounter I'm talking about, when this encounter happened, this is a revelation that has never been given before. Things that has never been done before. That's how God will start using that person. And their life would money would speak that encounter. Amen. Amen. En daarom gaan we ook dat we hem opzettelijk gaan zoeken. Opzettelijk gaan zoeken onze bezigheden achter ons laten. En opzettelijk hem gaan zoeken voor een diepere relatie. Een ontmoeting, een echte ontmoeting met hem. Er zijn vele mensen die, die alleen de, de ontmoeting van redding hebben gehad. Maar geen, geen ontmoeting daarna meer hebben gehad. Alleen maar op dezelfde level blijven. En hetzelfde weten als, als een ander ook weet. Maar we moeten tijd vrij maken om een ontmoeting met hem te hebben. Zodat we nieuwe openbaringen doen. En we in tekenen en wonderen kunnen wandelen in deze generatie. Amen. De Bijbel. Jeremiah 23, amen. 23, 29. That's the last scripture I'm going to use for now. Jeremiah 23, uh, 29, 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, eyes. You know, he said, thoughts. And the thoughts I have for you is for uh, peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. Let me see that 29. Amen. Uh, and he also said, yes. For well, I know the thoughts I, that I think towards you, says the Lord, a thought of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and I will go and pray uh, and go and pray to me and I will listen. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your hearts. Amen? With all your hearts. Not a little bit. Eh? The, then he will, then the thoughts, the original thoughts and the plans and the purpose of God will now start gushing out. And it's not only going to be on you to be a generational something. It's not only going to be on us. It's not generation. And then it is total. And also what people have not seen. Amen. And it is eh, before you pray, as you pray, he will answer. Amen. But you, you need to seek him. We need to seek him and search for him from our hearts. A day, two days, three days, asking God, show me who you are. Show me more about yourself. Father, divine encounter and entrance, a divine entrance encounter. The end that things that, uh, so I can just go into that deeper side, that please. Where the fowls of the air cannot enter. That place that my life will be different. That place where I can meet with you face to face. Amen. Jacob had an encounter with him. After he fought with that angel overnight. Remember, Jacob kept his family aside. His riches aside. Everything aside. And went to see God. If, if eh, he fought, fought, fought till he, she, his waist was shifted. But after that, he had a divine eh, turnaround, transformation. The household power that was fighting him, that he was afraid of, his brother, when he saw him the next day, everything he changed. He went, eh, you know that. Esau was waiting to kill Jacob because of what he stole from him. But after that encounter, Esau had no choice than to see him as a friend, as a brother. The, it was peace. The type of encounter that would stop household generational witchcraft oppression. The type of encounter that would seize that Goliath forever. There is a divine so, and it is all in Jesus just manifesting, seeing that thing. Amen. 
instead of every day, little, little prayer, God, this is this, I bind it, Satan. Tomorrow, Satan, stand up again. Is God not God? He is a mighty God, and he is capable of arresting that generational demon once and for all. But we need an encounter, an encounter with Jesus Christ. Amen.